Okay, so I am back, darling, and bigger than never. So this is my virgin hair fix hair. So this will be kind of like my final review, not my final time wearing this, trust and believe that, because you guys know that love and hip hop Hollywood starts on September 7th. So I'll have a new hairstyle for each episode. Some of new, a lot of them will be old phase. Um, so to this wig. So you guys know that I made this wig. I showed you guys what the hair looked like when I initially got it. I did my review for it and I have been wearing the stank off of it. And it's because it's something different. And like I told you guys, I didn't want it to be defined. I wanted it to be very natural, very big, very flowy, just something that I could throw on and go. And that's exactly what I have been doing. Even though it is ridiculously hot, um, I still have been wearing this hair. And believe it or not, I haven't had no issues with this hair. The only thing that I did to it different since the last time that you guys uh, seen me and I came on camera with the hair was, um, remember I told you that the closure part and this part wasn't really a great match in my opinion, but now you see everything seems like one big cohesive unit and that's because I simply used uh, my wand, like I said I was going to do, I wanted the bottoms of it and then I let them fall. My sister's birthday was... It was on Sunday, but we, she had a party Saturday, and I'm sure you guys could see in the on the screen right now the pictures from her party. I wore this hair then, and that was all the way in Palmdale, which if you guys are not from California or not familiar with Palmdale, is much further, further, further um, in the valley. That's just in the boonies, and it was very hot, but it was at night, so it wasn't as hot, but I did go to my other friend's house after that. Who didn't have air and I did I almost died. I was sweating so bad. But because winter is coming up, this is great. This is like I know some people was like, oh, it's kind of like very Rick James-ish, and then uh Rick James-ish. And then somebody said I had my glasses on in those pictures, and somebody said they thought I was Michael Jackson. I don't care. I I legit love this because it's so effortless. And I think I love things like you guys know I'm I love a good laid wig and I love a good laid situation, but nothing beats a very effortless situation like this. And before I actually wanted it, I did co-wash it um, just, just to make sure that everything would be cohesive once I curled it. Because sometimes what happens is uh, the curls are defined and sometimes if you, when you want to co-wash or wash it, the curl pattern to change a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that that wasn't the issue neither um beforehand so that wasn't it it went it was exactly the same so i wanted the curls all together and because my hair it made my hair shorter yes it did um but what i didn't want it to do was i didn't want to wand it and then it'd be these long shirley temple curls and yet this was at the top was still the same you know nothing really matched so when you bond your hair and this is how i do it just so that it'll last a little bit longer if you guys if i pull these you can see how long they really are, like that. So when I will wand them, I will wand them into each other and then pull them out and then let them sit. So I let them sit. I did, her party was Saturday and I did it Thursday night. So I let it sit all the way Friday and most of Saturday. So when I put it on, I legit pulled this apart and it just became this big curly mane. You know, it was already that, but it feels more uniform to me. It all feels like one unit, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so far, so good. No shedding. And I think I don't think people get when we do hair review. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, when I do hair reviews, I don't never talk about the hair or show the hair or mention the hair until I know for a fact I'm going to review it. So it's usually a two to three week interval before you even see it, before there's anything talked about. Then there's another two weeks of me wearing the hair after the review. Then there's another two weeks when I come and do an update, then there's another two weeks. So it all ends up spiraling down to be a couple of months. But because I'm working on so many different things at one time and I have so many different hairstyles, it may it looks like I have a different hairstyle for every day. And technically I do, but I give each review individual time because I can't say that I love some hair that I've only wore one time. You know, that's why with this hair, you guys are seeing it a lot or when I had... Uh, that RPG show wig with the middle part, and I wore it to death. I wore off camera. I wore my hair way more than I wear it on camera. 
So, because I'm doing so many different things. But if you guys noticed, last year, when I did Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, you guys seen a lot of your favorite wigs pop back up because you were seeing that I was, you know, consistently wearing this. I just, I feel like a new person every day. So I do a different style every day. That's the great thing about wigs. So before I have this wig sale that I've been talking about for freaking ever, I wanted to go do a, like a last round of some of my favorites. So you'll see a lot of my old wigs um, or old uh, U parts or whatever it's been in this new season of Love and Hip Hop of uh, Hollywood reviews. But I did want to come because this is something that I really 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 like like y'all this is just so everything like there's not anything better that i can say and i see that a lot of you guys have brought from a uh, virgin hair fix before and you guys love your hair so i'm happy i love when the customers are happy i have heard no negativity thank god uh, from any um customers because what i want you guys to also understand about reviews and stuff like that is that don't just take my opinion for it because my experience is not always the same of someone else's. You have, you can't, I can't be your holy grail of what you like about hair. I get it and I totally appreciate it. But understand, when you are looking to purchase hair out of your own pocket, look at my reviews, look at so many other people's reviews, look at not just reviewers, but look at actual customers as well, because that would definitely help with your purchase. Whenever I buy anything, whether it be Apple, whatever, I look at everybody. I don't look at just the people who get it for free from Apple or have a deal with a tech company that's going to send it to them. I look at the actual customers who brought the actual product as well. So that helps as well because as a reviewer, I can only go by my personal experience. And, you know, I, that's usually, that's all I can do. I can't tell you how the hair is going to be six months from now because I probably won't put the hair back in until another three months after I've had it because I've wore all this other hair. But look at somebody who's wore it consistently for six months and see how their hair looks. You know, it, it all depends. So you have to do your homework, because I know I do, before I buy anything. I love it. Do you love it? You know, I've, I've had it for a while. So, so far, so good. After washing, I can tell. And usually curly hair is much easier to upkeep because the luster, you ain't got to worry about the luster and it being laid or if it want to be straight. It just does what it does. Now, if the curl pattern fall out, that's the problem. But so far, so good. I love it. So make sure you guys um, check out Virgin Hair Fix and I will catch you guys later.